Yep, I got it. says, hey, there's one just coming out of the corn. Just saw a ghost of it. And when he finally showed up at the fence, this 243 that my daughter told me to get, <laughs> did the job straight down. Dead right there. How, how far away was it? Oh, I don't know. 80? Maybe, yeah, pretty close. Maybe. So then we've called for a few more minutes. And another one popped out, but it never come out of the corn. So then I came back to my gun. I was talking to Brian. We we're about 15 feet apart. And Brian got it to come back out. And then I proceeded to, I, I don't know. We're, we're about to go, we're about to go look. Do a little, see if I hit it. It looked like I, I maybe hit it and it ran a little ways and then went down. And I could see it rolling around. But I don't know. We'll have to go see if we find any blood in the snow. Yep. So this is a problem spot we found, uh, well I'm not going to say how we found it, but um, we heard they were having problems, we were waiting for a good wind, went, waiting for a good wind, it's a tight place, like literally right on the corner, houses. Yeah, you can see they're all, all behind us. So yeah. we're, we're not breaking the rules, we'll say no we're here. Um, but yeah, right across the street there's two houses and uh, we're in this tiny little cornfield. The, or it's a hay field, a hay field next to a corn yeah, field that all, never got cut. Yep. And uh, they Pretty, said the coyotes come out of the corn, cross the road into their front yard, and they're going after the neighbor's chickens right there. So we uh, we come over here, try to help them, and I, I think we did. And uh, so stay tuned. We're going to go look for them, and we'll uh, update you in a few minutes. Stay tuned. All right. So we stayed on this side of the fence. Dad's on the other collecting his. Oh gosh. A little more light. That helps, Brian. Look like a decent sized one. Yeah. Yeah. Is that female? Is that female? Yeah. Looks, like Looks like it. Is she in heat? Oh, yeah. she bleeding? Yep. No kidding. She shit herself. Well, drag her over here. Give us a closer look. Decent looking. Yeah. Pretty decent size for a female. Lift her leg up. I never seen that. Lift her back leg again. Huh? Oh yeah. She is 100% in heat. That's crazy. Yeah, that's why the other two came in. tell where you hit her? Oh, there. There's the exit. Right behind her shoulder. There's the exit hole. Oh, right there. Yep. Impressive. Yeah, yeah, the exit with the 75 green. Yeah. Yeah. Right behind her shoulder, yeah, should be. Huh? Right, right behind her shoulder. Exit. Right there? That's a burr. That's an exit side anyway. I put it right on, like. Yeah. Number one, dad's on the board. 243 christened. Sweet. One thing I will say, I was definitely glad I had the ear goggles on. Um, pretty sweet. He's got a really short barrel with a wicked <laughs> little 
<laughs> factory muzzle brake that I think we're gonna have to change. <laughs> so pretty happy to have the the ATN X sounds on my ears when when that shot went off. This is what this looks like. There's just stuff everywhere, cases, tubs. Just maybe drain this out. It's a little bit a little bit nasty. Ooh, that's nasty. He's just taking his sweet old time, winding stuff up. Ryan's, I don't know, getting into something else. I'm just a driver. What do I know? Get tossed into the tub. Keep her head up if you can. Keep her on, like on her side, like on one side, so one side looks nice. Yeah, head up like that. Just stick her tongue in. That would be great. Make some pictures look better tomorrow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In she goes.